think we're live. I think we're live. Well, I'm pretty sure we are. Um, hello there, uh, members, and welcome to this live stream. Essentially, I cannot be bothered to upload a video, so I'm just going to do a live stream instead. So it is public, but if you remember, you can comment in the chat. If not, you can't comment <laughs> unless you become a member, essentially. But yeah, so basically, I have no idea what any of my mini league rivalries have done. Although, to be honest, I don't really have any mini league rivals apart from Dan. So, essentially, I'm going to quickly look over from a selfish point of view um, certain teams that I always look at and then look at the, as ever, the Invitational League to see what people have done. I also look at the Content Creators League. Uh, before I do that, I'm just going to quickly quickly send out... In fact, you know what? I can't be bothered to send out a tweet. Stuff it. I know um, as I'm recording this, Tottenham are losing 2-1, I believe. Let's have a quick uh, check if that's still the case. So I'm assuming that's um, that is the case. Once it loads up... Leeds, it's Leeds, isn't it? They're playing Leeds, aren't they? Of course, um, Banford fucking scores. Prick. Just cannot fuck. <laughs> here, we, here we are, blonde. Cannot make this shit up. And I've already seen the bullshit from... Here he is. I've already seen the bullshit from people on Twitter already complaining that they benched Dallas, doing all the same old shite. Just shut the fuck up does my fucking head in <laughs> there's nothing wrong with complaining that you didn't um that like a certain player scored or whatever like you can say for fuck's sake dallas why or you know in my case banford why but don't fucking come out with shite like oh i wish i played him now well you fucking didn't did you jesus fucking christ it really fucking winds me up Oh, yeah. I didn't even put it as a members only, did I? Ah, I'm going to have to change that, aren't I? Whoops. So whoever's commenting live, Eric, Cameron, Kobe. <laughs> Cheers, but um, I, I didn't realise. I completely forgot that it was, um, uh, what do you call it? It was only supposed to be a members only chat. Where are you? Where are you? Yes, enable live chat. Only members can... Send messages, yes. So why is that not on? Yes, enable live chat. Oh well, it's not going to be that then. Anybody can fucking comment then. Fuck's sake, piece of shit. Ah, members only mode is on now. Oh, there we are. Uh, KPFE, I just, just saw Bamford and Sun. Any other game that would have been... Yeah. Dallas Sun Banford on my bench, says Mark. Yeah. Yeah. As Dan says. Yeah. It's just laughable when when, when you actually... When, when you play them for weeks... What takes the piss is when they, they play for weeks and weeks and weeks on end. And then all of a sudden, when you don't actually play them, for logical reasons, huh, they decide to school. Like, fuck off. So, yeah, so on with the old... Oh, yeah, last night, 4-2 to uh, uh, Newcastle. It, happens, it seems to happen all the time with these teams that end up in the FA Cup final or they've just played in the Carabao Cup final or whatever tournament they've played in and then the following game weeks they don't do anything. And surprise, surprise. Leicester, FA, uh, FA Cup final coming up. 4-2 to fucking... It's embarrassing. Let's just quickly look over the Torbay Elite. So, right. I'm going to have to go on another screen here to check something. I've just been doing some um, <laughs> videos, actually. So, here we are. Where, where is Dan? I think he's just above me, isn't he? So, Dan's above me. Fuck me, man. Dan is really... What a dickhead. <laughs> Fuck's sake. So Dan's just above me by about 400 points now. What did he do this game week? So he's on 10 points at the moment. Oh, he's another one with the bench. Minus four he did, did he? 
So the minus four. Scroll up, fuck's sake. And he has got, I'm assuming, Fernandez captain. Fernandez captain. Ian Acho, yeah. So Dallas on the bench. There's no way in hell. He brought in Benteke. Let's have a look at his transfers. He did a minus four to bring in Benteke, did he? Wood out for Benteke. Uh, Maguire in for Cancelo. Now, I want to see what Jason did now. Because I know I know he said he was going to take a minus eight. But I don't know, obviously, what he did. Because I didn't actually check at all. So, Jason. Jason. Captain Fernandez took a minus 12. Oh my fucking God. Okay, he did a minus 12. Jesus Christ, son. In the words of Austin. Let's have a look at what he did. Minus 12. Fuck me. Fernandez, captain. Yeah, 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 yeah. We all know about that. He's got Dallas on the bench. And let's see what his minus 12 was then. If you transfer history. Semedo, Sun, Vardy, Dunk out for Maguire, Fernandez, Calvert, Lewin and Shaw. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent moves for a, mi for a minus 12. Should. Should pay off. Captain Fernandez, of course. Somebody in his position you would think would have to Captain Fernandez uh, I wonder what side did I mean it's pretty much half this shit is copy and paste isn't it unless you like free hit then 18 points oh he's got son Sai has okay so Let's see what he uh, did transfer-wise. Hmm. Let's have a look. Let's have a fucking look. And that's not even Sai. That's Ben Edwards. So I may as well look at him. I don't even know who he is. Size third. Size third in the Tall Bay Elite. Fucking hell. <sighs> Terrible. I've got a fucking chance of catching him. Oh, he played his wild card. Played his wild card. Hmm. Schmeichel. He's supposed to have had a good game last night. I saw the highlights to it. Wild card played. Schme oh, Schmeichel got zero. I thought I read six. Castagna... Shaw, Wambasaka, Jota, Ward, Prowse, Salah, Fernandez, Iheanacho, Kane, Adams. Has he got a free hit? Has he got a free hit left? <laughs> Fuck me, Sai. What have you done? You're fucked. Next week, you're stuffed. You're absolutely stuffed next week. Because there's no Leicester or Man United. And you've got three, six players f that are blanking next week. Who else is blank? I, I, I don't even know who's f pissing blanking, to be honest with you. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's awful. What the fuck have you done, Sai? Si? It's fucking embarrassing. <laughs> Jason was talking about me sabotaging. Fuck me. That's a fucking embarrassment. <laughs> laughable. Absolutely fucking laughable. So... On to, are we actually still live? Uh, we've probably been taken down. 
No, we haven't. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah, we're still here. <laughs> we're still here. We're still live. So on to the Invitational League. Okay, so... Now that's the Community League. Where's the Invitational? Is that it? Hey, here we are. Top spot. Peter Scullion, of course. Oh, hello. He didn't captain... Oh, interesting. Captain Salah. Captain Salah, eh? wonder if he did uh, some... Whatchamacallit. Wrong pissing thing. Fuck's sake. I, I still can't get my head around that. What size done? Fucking embarrassment. Peter Scullion. Here we go. 14 points at the moment. Sun coming in today. Vardy last night. Captain Salah. He did a minus eight for four transfers. So a minus eight for four transfers. And this is what he did. Fafana, Kane, Trossard, Rudiger out for Dina, Calvert Lewin, Zaha, and Wambasaka. Again, excellent, excellent. Uh, triple game weaker in for a double, despite Rudiger probably only playing one. Zaha in for Trossard, yeah. Calvert Lewin for Kane, yeah. And Dina in for Fafana. Nice, 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 nice. So, on to our mate. Stevie, Steve Gregson, who is second in the Invitational League. Thing is, with the Invitational League, it's so fucking tight. 25 points at the moment. Wow. Okay, so 25 points. He's a long way off top spot, but he took a minus four. Who's he captained? Ian Nacho. What a... <laughs> uh, blonde, you may as well just add that to the Steve-O bingo. What a prick. Uh, Fabianski in for Nick Pope. Okay. Um... And Luke Shaw in for Mate. Why would you bring in Fabianski for him? Assuming you didn't have a playing. No, you would have had Nick Pope. Why would you do that, Stevie boy? Why would you, Why would you do that? Unless you're playing a free hit next week, you just felt like burning a transfer. But Fabianski isn't playing. Strange um, decision that was. And then, I mean, we've already looked at Jason's team. Paul Lee, bench boost. Here's his bench boost. So, how's he doing so far? I'll have a quick look on the big screen. So, can't explain to you how fucking annoying this is, doing it on a shitty laptop. Uh, 14 points at the moment. He, did, he did, no, no hits taken. Sun coming in today. He's had no... He's, he's just had sun playing. All right. Nice. Oh, and Castagna, sorry. Castagna, Ian Atcham and Sun. But today, he's got he's got, um, he's got got sun playing right now. Fernandez captain, as you'd expect. Yeah, nice. Um, now I'm going to go on to the content creators league. Is up here. And now I don't know what Andy's team was. What, what, what did Andy do in the end? Andy, let's talk FPL. I know for a fact he did a free hit. I'm assuming it stayed exactly the same as he explained on his stream, which I saw for about two seconds. So, Andy, I know you can see it in front of you. I, I can't see it. I might have to check something out for a second. Schmeichel. Yes, you know. <laughs> oh, he went Greenwood. He went Greenwood in the end, did he? Okay. 
Greenwood, Fernandez, captain, obviously. Uh, Ian Acho and Vardy double up. Zaha is Crystal Palace coverage. Who did he keep on the bench in the end, I suppose? It was the two Crystal Palace players and Joel Ward and Mitchell, yeah, Forster. Yeah, it's about as standard as it gets. Double Liverpool defence. Wow. Let's see what Mark, Mark Subbins did. Did he get in? I know he was uh, something to do with not having any Man United players or something. I have already know what my transfers are for next week. I already know what I'm doing. But it's a question of who the f who the fuck do I captain out of the two that I'm bringing in. But based on a certain person's form against the shit teams at home, Gareth Bale, I'm going to be um, doing that. I'll be bringing in Aguero and Bale for Madison and uh, someone I can't remember. Vardy. Vardy, 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 Vardy. So this is Mark's team. And what did he do? What did he do? So, transfer-wise, where is he in the world, anyway? 2,555. And his transfers were... Alonso and Rudiger out for Dina and Shaw. Yeah, 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 that's good. Solid, solid moves, as patronising as that is. Nice. How many double game weeks has he got? One, two... So just the one Man United. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if the score is... In fact, I could just do it on the... Um, do it on here instead, can't I? Of course, I've come out of that screen there. So livescore.com. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get on with it. Is it still 2-1? Yep, still 2-1 to Leeds. I predicted 1-0 to Tottenham. <laughs> uh, Regulon has got a yellow card. Lucas Moura, yellow card. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, it's Sheffield United Crystal Palace at 3 o'clock, is it? When's that? Oh, in a few minutes. I'll be able to find that. The live team news. The live team news in a few seconds time. Okay. All right, fair enough. I wonder if Zaha will be fit. I wonder. I wonder. Dallas getting the three bonus points. Of course he fucking is. There's no fucking about with that. Christ. Mm. Yeah, so my transfers uh, will definitely be... This dickhead can fuck off. Uh, these two Leicester... Essentially, these two Leicester players can just get the fuck out of my team absolutely useless and I'll definitely bring in Aguero versus Newcastle and then Gareth Bale for Madison for definite and that'll be a minus four that'll give me ten players for game week 35 whatever 36 for definite uh, the question would be who to captain uh, out of Dale and Aguero and as Jason always says always captain the player which you took a hit for to bring in uh, it'll probably be <sighs> they've both got two pretty easy fixtures haven't they Spurs at home to an absolute atrocious atrocious Wolves team whereas Man City up against a team which they they can, can score freely against, but who fucking knows? So yeah, there we fucking have it. That was the um, quick member stream. Oh, Jason changed it. Oh, nice, good lad. Morning, Denver. Morning, Denver. Hello, mate. <laughs> Hello, mate. So, yeah. There we have it. I'm going to fuck off. Um, I, like I said, I just wanted to look at what the mini-league rivals have done over the last um, few weeks. It is fucking funny, though. 
change it to members only, everybody pisses off. <laughs> Absolutely hilarious. Who the fuck was it? It was Steve actually telling me yesterday. Someone that he fucking follows on YouTube or whatever. Um, they were all watching them live. It was to do with music. And ironically, the second this individual started playing music, the, the individual said, oh, two people have just left. And it's like, it's just amazing the fucking thickety of people. Like, they were talking about this, weren't they, on the uh, the Llama Lounge and the fucking Black Box. And I just, it blows my fucking mind. Like, we had... Um, to put into context, we had a... Don't get me wrong, I'm not suggesting for one minute that this uh, content is what most people want to watch or anything, but we had uh, 25 people tuning in. Second to turn it to members only. Oh, down to 18. Funny that. Fuck me. So tragic. And just people... Like, they're, they're, like Az was saying, and Mark and everything. And In fact, fuck this. It was um, also Karma Baby said a comment on... I won't be able to... I bet I won't be able to get this now. Yeah, I can. Yes, I can. I could bring it up. So, Karma maybe made a very, very good point, And I'm going to read it out once it loads up. Please. So, he put a comment on the members video the other day. And I was supposed to address it, but I completely forgot. So, as somebody who used to work in interactive multimedia and film production, I can tell you... People in that industry have been expected to work for free for decades, of course. Once you work in a... Oh, actually, I'll just continue. Can you help me with my website? For free. Can you record some video and take some photographs of our event? For free. No other sector has this problem. People don't understand that this is actual fucking work. Entertain us for free. Imagine asking someone to paint your house or fix your car for free. It's literally no different. These idiots don't live in the real world. And... Yeah, my uh, my brother has this problem with photography, so it's not his job or anything. It's just like this, like this for me and Jason. It's just a hobby. However, uh, the amount of time that we have put in this channel over the last X amount of months, years, whatever, essentially, you know, I cannot and Jason cannot be doing this for free anymore certain things like this anyway and you know in the grand scheme of things um it is a hobby which essentially you can who the fuck is that at the door for fuck's sake bellend fuck me so i fucking hate about living in london the fucking cocks of fucking delivery drivers Jesus fucking Christ. I remember um, a few weeks back, actually it was a few months back, whatever, and literally it was just this. And I was just like, oh, someone at the door. Before I'd even opened my bedroom door, it was just, I'm just like, for fuck's sake, just calm the fuck down. Literally, just about to open the front door again. I'm just like, is there a fucking problem? And this guy, this guy just went, uh, package. I just need to take a picture of it. Oh, fuck off. Prick. Do you know what I mean? It's just fucking unbelievable. What's I talking about? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> free. Stuff that's free. And at the end of the day, when you put a lot of time and effort into... Uh, a hobby or whatever after a period of time people do want to support you and stuff and you know wherever you you, you just think you know what you know, if we can make a bit of money out of this and everything and just fucking crack on and I think this whole thing that kicked off with the festival like like I said the other day on a members room, like fuck off for fuck's sake like who the fuck hires out a pub Spending their own money, etc., etc., and then thinks, "Yeah, we'll just open it for free. We're going to be about five thousand pounds down in our own pocket to hire it, but yeah, we'll just do it for free." It's like it's like with anything when you can do anything 
for free people just want to do it and it's like it's like with um youtube it's all free so when anybody wants to do additional content or whatever like patreon or whatever as i always keep saying what's the what's the value for money and stuff all this nonsense uh it's like with anything um what do you get for your value for money and you know, at the end of the day, when me and Jason do these members videos and stuff, as I keep saying, like 99 times out of 100, in fact, 100 times out of 100, it's usually just videos addressing a personal question, comment, whatever, from an individual that is a member in the members chat on Discord. And we have a discussion about it and we talk, we talk um, about whatever it may be or we just discuss various things. But as I always keep saying, like, with things that are free people just expect it it's like with music now I, I, i'm guilty of it i don't pay for spotify i never fucking will because why because it offers me no value for money whatsoever why i should spend 9.99 a month for essentially just listen to music that i'd listen to anyway and okay the benefits are what you don't have to have shuffle on you don't get adverts <laughs> it's not much of a benefit is it Really, I can just about put up with the adverts and I'm not really desperate to hear. Um, which is a terrible thing to say, but I'm not really desperate to hear a full album track by track in order when actually on the shuffle play mode, I get the majority of it anyway. So, yeah, it's... it's At the end of the day, um, you know, like Karma Baby said, it's like, with, like I said, with my brother, like with photography... You know, yeah, I'll, ha I'll happily take some pictures. Um, I'll, yeah, I'll be more than happy to go out my way and drive X amount of miles to get to your house to take pictures of whatever. But then when it comes to, like, special events and stuff, once again, it's... Can you do it for free, though? Um, well, I can do, but um, you can't expect me to be doing what a professional does at the end of the day I'm just a bloke that takes pictures of high quality and I can do very good editing but again the editing takes time out of my day so yeah it's, it's just a fucking piss take basically but that's absolute tangents for no reason at all no reasons at all whatsoever oh you know that Tintin clip we did yesterday for a bit of fun that um that uh, uh, got demonetized. Can't make it up, can you? A program that was shown in 1992, I believe. I think it was. And yeah, incredibly, um, was demonetized, which just blows blows my mind. Um, I never understand how. This all um all happens to be honest with you, but hmm. but uh, yeah, I'm actually boring myself talking now. I just want to eat. I just want to. I just want to fuck off and eat food. Oh yeah, Crystal Palace is now probably announced their team news, so we may as well just see what the team news is for for them. Crystal, and the answer is Zaha starts. Once it loads up, taking forever. What a surprise. <laughs> Fuck me. So there is the team news. Quite a ward, Kaita. Cahill, Mitchell. Mitchell does start. Milivojevic, Eze, Schlup, Townsend, Benteke, Zaha. There we are. So... I just know this is going to happen. Zaha's going to fucking get a, a goal and assist, isn't he? <laughs> you just fucking know it. You just fucking know it. And uh, as I keep stating, out of the three fixtures that Man United have got, I said there's a very high chance of getting two clean sheets out of three. But if they only get one clean sheet, I bet it's in the one fucking game that Maguire is benched for. And then this whole triple captaining of Zaha, I bet you he comes through with more points than Maguire. 
3-1 to Leeds as it stands, Paulie's saying. Let's see who scored then. That's fantastic. That is hilarious. Hasn't even come through on here, so I'm just going to go on livescore.com. Once it loads up, which it will do in about six seconds. Yep, the goal has gone in. I don't know who scored Paulie. Can you... Uh, Quickly tell us, live. Oh, if it stands. Oh, right, I see. There's a possibility of it changing. Okay. Please, please be 3-1. Please, for the love of God, be 3-1. I could do with a laugh. I said I could do with a laugh. I couldn't give a shit, to be honest with you. I didn't get the prediction right, so... <laughs> That's all I care about, my predictions. Rodrigo goal, Rafinha <laughs> assist. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course it is. Fuck's sake. Absolutely hilarious. <laughs> uh, that is fantastic. Rodrigo came on for Banford as well. Uh. <laughs> Oh, brilliant, 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 brilliant. <laughs> Cheers, Paulie, for that. 